Hey, so did the thumbnail get you? 100 seconds to midnight? Do you really know what that means? Well, we're not really going to talk about what it really means, but I wanted to get your attention. Now, the CDC does say that in order to stop the spread of Charlie Victor 19, if everybody would just wear a mask when you go out in public, especially if you're going to be around people, it would help to control the spread of Charlie Victor 19. Now, granted, we all don't all like wearing these things, do we? But there are a few things that we probably all do still have in common, and that we all can really relate to. You know, it all falls back to, you know, we're all in the same boat together. We all have to do what to control this virus. Now we've all been cooped up. Um, maybe some of everybody weren't considered, say, quote, essential employees. So you lost your jobs, your business closed. We all can relate to that. Now I've been very fortunate that in my job, I've been able to keep working. Sometimes you wonder if it's safe, but you still have bills to pay and put food on the table, correct? Now, if you are a prepper or if you're starting to prep, you know, you may have food that's put up for in case of emergency situation, which this would really qualify for. But there's a lot more that's going on in this country right now that still we can all relate to. And we're not talking politics or anything else. Let's talk about some of the major things that are really happening that have impacted millions of people. We've had hurricanes. This season has been just incredible. I mean, we've had more hurricanes than you shake a stick at. You know, we're already into the Greek names. We've had 10 landfalling hurricanes in the United States this year, which is a record. You look out west, they've had numerous fires, air quality that is unbelievable. Fires that have burned over 4 million acres already and that are still burning as we speak right now. You may know somebody who lives out that way. I have family that lives out that way, you know, and they have been put in harm's way. Um, thank God they haven't been asked to evacuate yet, but the fires are getting closer. We have also had flooding this year from the hurricanes. You know, it's not just doesn't affect the coast. There's a whole bigger picture to this when this all takes place. And then when the storms move inland into the central parts of the country, they get all the flooding rains, which is mostly usually mountain ranges. So all the rain falls up in the mountains and all that water has to run downhill, right? So there was one thing that we all can relate to here. We need to be prepared. And now is a perfect time for you to be prepared. Yes, we're starting to wind down the hurricane season, but we still have to the end of November. So we still have a ways to go here. And like I said, it only takes one storm. And if you've never been through a hurricane before, it's not really a fun thing to do. And depending on the size of the storm, you may not want to ride it out. And it depends on where you live and how your house is built. Fires are a whole nother thing, you know, they move so quickly and everything else. And if the wind just switches directions, you may think you were safe. And all of a sudden now you're not. Whereas in a hurricane, you get a notice, but it all boils back to being prepared. Now, depending on where you live in this great country or world that we live in, you, we all have our different things that we have to deal with that come up that Mother Nature throws at us. 
But if you're be if you're prepared for you and your family, and you have the food, the supplies that you need in a given situation, you would be so much better off. And it doesn't take a lot of money to do it. Now let's talk about a, an important topic. We all know it is an election year. Now we're not going to get into the whole politics thing and everything else, but it's um, a pretty nasty one. The country's pretty divided, really divided. You know, people are treating people like they shouldn't be treated. We're all Americans. But the moral of this story is no matter which way this goes come November 3rd, you might want to make sure that you're prepared just on the chance that the shit does hit the fan. Now, a lot of people out there believe that that's going to happen. Do I know the answer to that question? No, I do not. But I do know the answer to a question. Why do you need to be prepared? You need to be prepared just on the chance that if something does happen and things go south really quick, you may not be in that situation like when the virus first hit. When Charlie Victor 19 first hit, they started locking everything down. Everybody saw how all the grocery stores emptied out. They're also talking that that possibly could come back around. If you do take the time and do a little research, you're gonna see that in other countries where winter is already started, all right, they're already into their winter season, their numbers are all going up. Hence, the reason is people are stuck inside now. They do more functions inside. You know, you really don't want to have a party and stuff and you're outside and it's blowing snow and it's uh, 20 degrees. You just don't want to do that. So, if you're prepared, it doesn't matter what happens. Remember that. That's one less stress that you don't have to deal with. But if you're not prepared, then you're gonna get stuck with what happened when Charlie Victor 19 hit earlier this year. The next thing you know, you're gonna go be going to the store because if they start shutting things down again and people start to panic, their grocery stores are gonna empty out once again. We can all avoid that. You can avoid that. You can share information with your friends and family so they avoid that. If you would like, you could ask them to subscribe to my channel and watch the videos. I'll show you how to do it. I've got several videos. Things you can do, stuff you can buy, how to prepare it, how to store it, all that kind of stuff. I make these videos to make your life easier. Because unlike everything else that is going on, on my channel, I care about you. That's the reason I started. I know what to do. I know how to do it. I know how to be prepared. But the question is, do you? Do you know how to be prepared and all the things that you need? It's not so much just going out and buying a couple of cans of canned goods and maybe a bag of rice and thinking you're all set. There's more to it than that. You have to make sure that you have a nice diversity of products. And it's not all about food either. You have to think about first aid. You have to think about ways that you can cook if, say, the power goes out. We don't know what's going to happen. Especially if you live, say, in the north. I live in Florida. But if you live up north, the way all these storms and everything that's been going, you know, what's to say we're not going to have more blizzards this year? Now, the Farmers' Almanac has said that, you know, it's going to be more snow and cold and and all this kind of stuff but you know I mean you can read into that what you want all right I lived up north for years and had most of the time they were never right to begin with it's just like a weatherman all right 
we put all these multi-billion dollar satellites up into the sky and it seems like lately that they still can't get that forecast just right past maybe six hours <laughs> if you understand what I'm saying so the question still stands are you prepared because the real doomsday clock that we have to worry about could be coming soon and I'm not talking about atomic war which the doomsday clock was actually ready for I'm talking about a doomsday clock for what may be coming with everything that is going on Now, are you ready? Do you have a plan? Do you have supplies? Do you want to avoid being in that criteria of having to go to the store when everything is chaos? Don't think you do. So I would advise everybody out there, especially if you are new to my channel or you are new to prepping, okay? Go back, check out some of my playlists. I just updated my whole website. I think you'll enjoy it. I think you can find something in there that may help you out. And if I can just help out one of you, then it's all worth it. If you have any questions, comment on just put comments down there if you're watching a video and you have a question on a certain topic comment I'll do my best to get back to you with an answer and if I can't get you an answer I'll send you in a direction of someone that probably can I have no problem doing that so avoid the doomsday clock that could be really coming food shortages chaos because we have control over that. There's a lot of things we can control and there's a lot of things we can't control. But we all can relate to being ready. Especially after the chaos that we've already been through this year in 2020. So, until next time, this is Survival Preparedness for Beginners. Thank you for watching. I'll throw a little video up here. Watch that and maybe it'll inspire you. Till next time, catch you all on the flip side.